This is question number 9, exercise 7.2 of class 9 mathematics. Here in this question, we are given a triangle ABC in which AB is equal to AC. D is a point on AC and E is a point on AB such that AD is equal to DE is equal to EC is equal to BC. These four line segments are equal. Now we have to prove that angle A is to angle B is equal to 1 is to 3. Now to prove this, we are going to take this one, which is already given here in the question. So we have AD is equal to DE is equal to EC is equal to BC. given in the question. Now in triangle ADE, now uh, in order to simplify our job, let's give this, let's name this angle as 1, this angle as 2, this angle as 3, this angle as 4, and this is 5, and this is 6, and this is 7. Now in triangle ADE, ADE, AD is equal to DE, which is given here. So since these two sides are equal, these two opposite angles are also equal. This is a property of isosceles triangle. It says if in a triangle two sides are equal, then the angle opposite to these two angle two two sides are also equal. So these two angles are equal. This is a very important properties of isosceles triangle. So in this triangle now we have that these two angles are equal. Now angle one is equal to angle two since opposite angles of equal sides are equal similarly in triangle DEC DE is equal to EC DE equal to EC given here so this angle 3 will be equal to angle 4 and also in triangle EBC, EC is equal to BC, this side and this side are equal. So that will give us angle 5 equal to angle 6. So we see here similarly, similarly angle is equal to angle 4 and angle 5 is equal to angle 6. Now we're going to take this triangle ABC. In triangle ABC we're going to apply angle sum property here to get the proof. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree this is angle sum property angle sum property of triangle now this angle 1 is nothing but angle angle A is angle 1 plus angle B is angle 6 and this angle 6 angle C this can be written as angle 7 plus angle 4 now this is equal to 180 degree this is, is implies that angle 1 plus angle 6 again this angle 7 
we're going to do like this in this triangle in triangle EBC this angle 5 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 is equal to 180 degree which is nothing but angle sum property now angle 7 is equal to 180 degree transpose this angle 5 and angle 6 to the right hand side so minus angle 5 minus angle 6 now again this implies that angle 7 is equal to 180 degree minus now angle 5 is again equal to angle 6 so I'm going to replace this angle 5 with angle 6 so angle 6 now we have here angle 7 equal to 180 degree minus twice of angle 6 so in place of this angle 7 let us write 180 degree minus twice of angle 6 180 degree minus twice of angle 6 plus this angle 4 again is equal to angle 3 here so we write here angle 3 is equal to 180 degree okay next step is angle 1 now this angle 6 twice angle 6 these two are like terms so let's subtract this so we get here minus angle 6 plus again for this angle 3 we will again do like this in triangle ADE so in this triangle ADE here we can see that this angle 3 is exterior angle is an exterior angle of this triangle so according to property of exterior angle that is exterior angle property this angle 3 is, will be equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 so angle 3 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 and this is exterior angle property angle property here now this exterior angle is equal to sum of the interior opposite angle that is what the exterior angle property says so that is what we have applied here now again this angle 2 can be written as angle 1 because we have here angle 1 is equal to angle 2 now this is equal to angle 1 plus angle 1 twice of angle 1 so in place of angle 3 we are replacing with this one here in this so we have here twice of angle 1 this is equal to this two can be cancelled out so we get here 0 now again this angle 1 and twice that angle 1 these two terms are like terms so we add we get twice of angle 1 minus angle 6 is equal to 0 and here twice of angle 1 is equal to transpose to the right side you get angle 6 so finally we get here dividing both sides by 3 and uh, 6 you get here angle 1 by angle 6 is equal to 1 by 3 size of angle 1 is equal to angle 6 now if you divide both sides by angle uh, by 3 here like this this you can cut this 3 and 3 so you'll get here angle 1 and you'll get here angle 6 by 3 and again dividing both sides by angle 6 like this dividing both sides by angle 6 like this so angle 6 angle 6 cut you get here angle 1 by angle 6 is equal to 1 by 3 
So now this angle 1 is nothing but angle A and this angle 6 is our angle B is equal to 1 by 3. So here angle 1 is angle A, angle 6 is angle B. So this gives us angle A is to angle B is equal to 1 is to 3. Let's prove. 